something many people only dream of. They most certainly do. Twelve Mid Michigan students started their own businesses this year. Tonight, News 10's Faith Miller looks at how they made it all happen. It started it all when I was 17. Andre Brown owns a language tutoring business. He hasn't even finished his junior year of high school. When you're passionate about something, you find time for it. So, like, the last three weeks, I've been going to bed at 2 a.m. and waking up at 6 just so I can do my academics and work on my business. He has an entrepreneurial spirit that Anita Lindsay says she saw in many students this year. The Michigan Chamber of Commerce started a program to teach high schoolers how to start a business and then gave them the resources to make it happen. Watch them grow from their idea generation in the first few weeks of the program to them actually opening their business, getting their LLC. These aren't just pop-up businesses like lemonade stands. The students sent in all the necessary paperwork to the government to make their businesses legitimate. Everybody can't say they were an entrepreneur at 18. So I'm walking down the halls, I feel, I feel like I stand out. Standing out is also what Sexton senior Miles Johnson wants for his customers. It started when I seen three guys walking down the street with the same suit on, all black, like a regular tie. So I made these tie clips for them to stand out and show the character. And like Brown, he's willing to go the extra mile to make a sale. Literally. He texted me. He said, I'm about to leave my house in 25. I said, I'll be there in 15. So I jog over his house, and I made it at 15. Both Johnson and Brown are already figuring out ways to expand their businesses. It helps me really keep pushing forward and discovering what I want and helping me find my true passions. I want to expand this. You'll see my face at other places, too. In Lansing, Faith Miller, News 10. And, of course, we wish them all the best. The Michigan Chamber of Commerce will host the Young Entrepreneurs Academy for at least two more years. It's currently taking applications for students and looking for business professionals to mentor and teach next year. House Speaker Kevin Cotter said...